Once every generation, a man arrives on the scene that speaks the hopes and the aspirations of his entire time. Here is such a man, the star of our show, Gene Shepard. to come on this set, I'll tell you, life to me is one series of sets after the other. All the lights are right and the, the smell of the grease paint, the roar of the crowd. There's only one thing I miss, though, on this show. I'll tell you that, Ray. I would like to have somebody to kiss out here. <laughs> well, you, you know all those TV shows where the guys come out, they kiss everybody, and they walk back and forth. Faye Dunaway kisses Ed McMahon. Ed McMahon kisses Johnny Carson. He sure does. <laughs> Several places. <laughs> well, that's his whole, that's his, that's his uh, profession. I mean, what the hell, you know? <laughs> and I, I miss that, you know? I come out here and there's just a set here, and, and of course our alert, bright, dynamic crew all sitting there, eating their big boys, and looking mad, waiting for their coffee break. I need somebody to kiss. I mean, really kiss. Zsa Zsa Gabor. I suspect uh, kissing Zsa Zsa Gabor is like uh, kissing a uh, plastic poodle, you know? <laughs> the hair hanging down. Farrah Fawcett Major. It's been an exciting week, hasn't it, gang? Let's get on with the show here. We'll just have to work with what we got. Nobody to kiss here. It's been exciting. I, I suppose all of you know that they've just recently announced a survey, which I think is very important. I don't want to hurt the feelings of any of you out there, because, you know, this is, after all, public television, and pe uh, public TV viewers are very serious people. They eat granola, wild rice. There's probably 500 yogurt addicts watching tonight, just sitting there eating that yogurt away there, figuring they're going to live to be 148 years old. Would you? <laughs> How about that commercial, you know, where all these people are 190 years old, and they're walking around eating yogurt? I say this. If you have to eat yogurt to live to be 137, it ain't worth it. <laughs> I mean, there's a few other things I like other than yogurt. You know, a little Jack Daniels there, sprinkle on a yogurt there. You know, what the hell, a few Twinkies to wash it down with. Life, you gotta live life. And I suppose uh, I might as well tell you right offhand that a, a professor at the University of New York, NYU, in fact, very serious professor, just completed a five-year survey, and he found out, well, you hear this, gang, that winos do not go bald. Isn't that a kick? <laughs> yeah, he went down on the Bowery, you know, and these guys are laying there, you know, they got a bottle of Thunderbird next to him, you know, one shoe off, the whole bit. And he went around there, and he looked at all these guys, and he investigated them. He went to Skid Row in Chicago. Skid Row in Chicago, by the way, is Madison Avenue, way on the outside, west side, down there, all squatting down there on the curbs there with their bottles of Thunderbird and Bally High next to them. And he went around, he investigated, and he found out, for some curious reason, 87% of the winos, the real serious winos, have a full, beautiful head of hair. Obvious lesson in that for you, gang. All you guys that are out running, <laughs> eating your yogurt. <laughs> now, I don't want to bring you down too much because there has been some good news this week. Uh, one of the best news items I've seen during the week, and I suppose many of you saw it, was that they announced 
that they're building in the heart of Moscow, right next to the big Kremlin there, they're building a pizza hut, a pizza hut in the Kremlin. And I, I'd like to see the first Ivan, you know, comes in there. After all, he's living in the world of borscht. And uh, <laughs> he comes in there saying, they got this big side. You know, you've been in the Pizza Hut, you know, the big picture of pizza and all the different kinds you can get. And he says, what is uh, full tilt boogie pizza with anchovies? <laughs> and uh, I can only say that the Kremlin has made a serious mistake because if the Pizza Hut is there now, how long can it be before Colonel Sanders shows up? And you see this guy driving his Skoda <laughs> over the steps, <laughs> and it's wind blowing, and very far off in the distance as he's approaching Kiev in the frozen Russian winter, you see that great big Colonel Sanders chicken pot revolving. You know, the can there, Colonel looking out, goatee. I'll tell you, the Russians better be careful because after that comes democracy. Democracy, <laughs> you realize that once a guy has tasted a big boy, he can't go back. Once a Big Mac has mixed with the borscht, Brezhnev is in trouble. And so everywhere we look, the little American institutions are beginning to sneak in and that the wino's got a full set of hair. God, you don't know where it's ever gonna end. Uh, Ed McMahon is kissing Johnny Carson and we would like to take a, a point right now in time to quote the great John Dean. Oh, by the way, a friend of mine is, for, is forming a new outfit called the Watergate Book of the Month Club. We, every month you get the newest book on Watergate. It refutes the one you got just the last month. Have you noticed every book shows that no matter who it is who's writing about Watergate, he had nothing to do with it. It's fantastic. I wonder how that all happened by osmosis.